Hi, everyone. I'm here with Nicole, the Gut Girl. Thanks again for being here, Nicole. Thank you for having me. All right. We're going to talk about artificial sweeteners. And we really need artificial sweeteners, right? Because we don't want calories. So if we get the artificial sweetener, we're not eating calories. So that's a good thing, right? No. Oh, darn. I... <laughs> I despise this and I hate artificial sweeteners because it, they are really, really bad for the body. And you may think you're not getting calories, which we all know how I feel about calories in calories out, but, um, you know, that's, it's still spiking the insulin levels to come out because it's a sweetener. It's going to spike the sweetening response. So stop thinking it's not doing anything because it has zero calories. That's ridiculous. And that's just a gimmick they've sold you on. Um, it also causes and heightens arthritis, type 2 diabetes, heart conditions, and cancer. Um, one of the things that I see a lot in my practice is it thins the intestinal lining wall so you're going to have a ton of bacteria. You're going to have a ton of bloat. You're going to have a ton of migraines. And it all comes from these artificial sweeteners. And the reason why I picked this topic too was because I'm just seeing a ton of it nowadays. And I thought we were going away from that. But we were at dinner the other night. And everywhere I looked, people were putting the pink packet, which is the worst, in their iced tea or, you know, it was crazy. I was like, and three and four packets at a time. Yeah. The stuff is just nasty chemicals, right? It's just all chemical, you know, the put a natural sugar in just, I mean, we were joking, but put a natural sugar into yeah. your body can whey process through a natural sugar. And so what if it's going to have 10 calories eat healthy, on the back end so that your body can produce and and process the sugar naturally yeah you guys can uh, go watch the one we just did on uh on uh watch out for all the natural flavors mm -hmm. um and now we just said how about natural sugar right well <laughs> i mean you you the the sugar there's healthier sugar choices Totally. Um, but anyway, yeah, we were laughing before. Now we're going to say natural is okay. Um, but uh, so we're hypocrites. But um, you can get a healthy sugar that's, you're right, it's not that many calories. No. And it's, you can get organic. Mm -hmm. You can buy sugar that's not smeared in glyphosate. Right. Absolutely. Or, processed down so much that it's just become a chemical. I mean, really and truly the pink, the blue and the yellow packets, all that is, is chemical. That is, there's nothing about that that is natural. So it's just a chemical you're putting in your body. And if you think that's okay, and it's not doing something to the inside of your stomach or your gut or your hormones, I promise you it is. Yeah. And you know, we didn't, you guys know what the pink, the blue and the the what are the uh, the yellow? You know what that is. Oh yeah, you know they're, they're on the table. They're on the table at restaurants, and I used to use them all the time. Now, now my wife takes our own little packet. You know Thank this you. when we go eat, and it's got you know stevia in it and uh, better flavorings than the other colored ones. Absolutely. Um, so. What do you think of stevia? I, I don't mind stevia as long as you don't get, you know, you, I like stevia in the raw, that kind of thing, so that we know that it's actually still from the good source. Um, so I don't mind stevia. I don't mind coconut sugar. Um, the stuff that is actually real. I will tell you something. Lots of people think cane sugar is okay, and it is not. Cane sugar is always has glyphosate in it and is always chemicalized down. So don't do a cane sugar either. Lots of protein powders, that kind of stuff is sweetened with cane sugar because it sounds natural. Don't do that. Um, you know, Nicole, we've talked about this before, but I just want to reemphasize it when, you know, I'm, I'm a lot older than you, but um, when I was a kid and probably when you were a kid, look, 
I ate tons of sugar. And that got me thinking, wait a minute, why is everyone fat now? Why are all the kids fat? How come the fat kid in, in my class would be the skinny kid now? Right. And I'm going, how could it be the sugar? I, I was a sugar holic when I was a kid. I ate so much sugar. I was pounding the sugar. So obviously there's something different about the sugar. Well, and I think it's the glyphosate. It's glyphosate and it's all the chemicals that they use. You think you're not getting a response just because it says zero calories. Stop doing that. We ran around eating a ton of sugar because we could process it because it was natural, all natural sugar. This is not what we're doing nowadays. And we're eating a ton of packaged foods that says zero sugar when it does have sugar in it. It has sweeteners that's a chemical that is producing a response. I just read a report about how obesity, how they're correlating these natural sugar or the sweeteners the artificial sweeteners with obesity. But how can that be when it's zero calories? It's because it's creating a response in the body that is not natural. For sure. It's messing up your body. And hey, I'd like to know what all of you out there listening think about this, because I've done some shorts and got a lot of responses on wh what do you think it is? Because I saw this picture in the 60s and it was like 10 women. And they were all thin and fit in the 60s. And they were all probably looked around 30 years old. Sure. Um, and they were all thin. And mm -hmm. it's not like exercising was a big thing back then. It wasn't. Um, but now if you took a bunch of women the same age, 10 of them randomly, and you put them in a picture, they're going to be fat. Yep. And... That's what just boggles my mind. So that's what I want to, I want to know what you guys think about this. You know, if you're over 60 or over 50 or whatever, I'm over 60. Um, tell me if you think it's something different because I really started thinking about all the sugar and junk I ate. Yeah. I loved donuts. We've talked about a donut is probably the worst food you can eat right now. <laughs> yeah. Why? Because it's glyphosate deep fried in rancid fats. Yep. The, yep. the sugar is the best thing in the donut. Yep. Totally. And I can't so, and I'd love to hear the responses too, because anyone who can tell me that packaged food is not making them fit sick sick and fat, tell me so that I can combat that. Yeah. Well, I don't think anybody's going to say that because last time most people were saying, hey, it's the processed foods. And some people were saying, hey, it's the cell phones. You know, the kids are playing on their cell phones and, sure. you know, That's a good, lack man. of activity and so on. But I'd be interested to, to hear also what you guys think about the level of fitness 50 years ago compared to now, because it just it boggles my mind. When I start thinking about, and this is one of the things that is doing it. You can call them artificial sweeteners, but they're artificial chemicals. That's yes. what they are. You're exactly. putting chemicals in your body and those chemicals are having a horrible reaction. And these are chemicals that we didn't eat when I was a kid. And you What's in the water? I mean, we used to drink out of the hose. Oh, same with us. How many times have I said this? You know, if I drank out of the hose for a week, I might be dead in a week. <laughs> <laughs> Different time. And, you know, the other thing, too, that I'll leave this with as well is people who have any kind of mental health issues, you should not be eating artificial sweeteners. They are a just a straight shot to our mental. It causes anxiety, it causes irritability, autoimmune conditions that will then heighten mental conditions. I mean, please be careful what you're putting in your body when you have, when you d battle with depression and anxiety. And are you talking about dementia and Alzheimer's also? Oh, 100%. I mean, that the leading cause of dementia, well, there's a new type, um, a type of diabetes. It's diabetes three and it's because of dementia. Dementia is the main leading cause of it because it's type three diabetes. 
Yeah, you know, everybody, just don't eat processed foods. Get rid of the processed foods. That's just a good general rule. And your health is going to improve. Yep, absolutely. All right, everybody. So um, Nicole will give you $100 off if you're interested in her program. She looks at hormones and she's a nutritionist, so she will dial in your diet and all that stuff. She actually works with my wife and you'll give them a hundred dollars off, right? Well, absolutely. If you send me an email at the gut girl one at gmail.com and you mentioned that you've seen this uh, video, any of our videos, I will give you a hundred dollars off the program. And uh, what if they want to follow you on TikTok, Instagram or other places you are just for your little tips? TikTok, I am um, the Gut Girl NV. Facebook, I am the Gut Girl. And same thing with Instagram, I am the Gut Girl NV. All right. Thanks for being with us, Nicole. Thank you for having me.